to. I mean, last year we went to Chicago. They mm-hmm. were talking about it. They got to yeah. talk about it. It's one of the ones. Give me something. <laughs> I said, everybody don't get a shout out. <laughs> right. So, KG is big. What impressed you most going up against? Um, Smaller guys like Nate and Earl, when you had to face them, uh, what's the toughness. Was it skill, passion, yeah, toughness. Not, not only the skill package, because you you know you're in the league, you expect you know the, the smalls to have some some skills, but the toughness, man. You know, I, I respect um, all three of these guys for their mental toughness. You know, being shorter than everybody, you gotta. That's like chess. You gotta figure that out every night. Every night you're gonna have a new mm-hmm. stigma mm-hmm. trying to figure out how I'm gonna get yep. this off tonight. And you know what's crazy? Everybody's throwing everything at you, pick and rolls. We trapping you. <laughs> Big, you can't see over the big. So it's so. I just from a from a from a playing the playing in a NBA game perspective, I just respect everything that these guys were able to do, and not just one year, but consistently make a career out of it, make a wow. make it over years and, and earn a living in this. To when you over eight, nine, ten years in anything, now that's 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 what you do. That's your profession. Yeah, because these guys did that. Most people, mm. big guys, gonna try to knock you down to test you anyway. Be physical, mm-hmm. and if first. you keep coming back, they you know no. eventually give you respect that you no doubt. where you belong. So that's that's a big thing, especially when you played. Uh, when we played in the early '80s. I mean, the mid '80s and late '90s. It was so much fouling and fighting going on. Right. Because that's the only way you can really watch, though. Yeah. Like, every as, a, game. as a young boy, I was, uh, <laughs> Listen, I was every like, game. I can't, wait. Was a yeah, fight. I can't wait to get to the league. Yeah. Listen, man, what you got to know about a, 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 a short guy or a guard, they going to fight first. They swinging first. <laughs> <Yeah>. Small <laughs> guys, short guys are not waiting. They fire. <laughs> Soon as you ain't with you, it's like, whoa, what you? Hold on, look. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. Short guys are not <laughs> waiting <laughs> for anything. They waiting on you to be like, hey, you look bad. <laughs> The next thing you know, you hit. Man, we were learning from Isaiah. We were watching Isaiah. Man, yeah, everybody like, got an advantage, oh, exactly. yeah, exactly. advantage on you. Man, everybody got advantage on you. You got to, you got to strike while the iron's hot. That's the hot. first thing Doc Rivers gonna tell you. Hey, look, if you're not ready to fight, those we gonna go hard. <laughs> Straight up, I was like, man, he's man white, but. Jalen Brown out here balling. Jalen Brown out here balling straight up. Well, he got at least 30. <laughs> Doing his thing. Definitely. That's the first thing that stood out about all these guys, though, man. You know, Nate coming in there, he trying to dunk on you. You know, you got to put him down. You know, you got to give him something. If not, he coming back trying to put on you again. <laughs> then you foul him. You got to foul me hard in that big fella. I'm coming back. Yeah. He's going to the free throw line. So after a while, man, you get a general respect for each other. And, yeah. and, and you know it's each other's games. And. I thought, um, you know, we ran in with Earl, and he wasn't giving me nothing. I kind of calmed down on him, give him some what's up, Earl. Then I started speaking to him. That's right. what we know. When I started speaking to you, oh, yeah, take a mess with you. Right. Because I don't speak to nobody. Earl, yeah. listen, real story. <laughs> Nate Ross, such a fan of the guard. Like, oh, he didn't know. I don't speak to nobody. Nate stood at half court during the game. <laughs> For like 20 minutes, you know, the clock running, you know? You know, the 10 minutes, you got to go to the thing. Iron, the press release, right? Man, he stood at half court like this. And I saw you, now. you was like, man, just, is he going to stop? <laughs> hey, big fella, we get a jersey. Yeah. Big fella, <laughs> Big fella, get I waited to the whole time. He waited. Because I'm more, like you said, I grew up a fan, he bro. Waited. I'm a fan. And even though I'm in I the I didn't want to give him nothing to I had to. Fan. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, man, let me get a jersey, man. You see me? Say, I got you, man. I got you. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. I, I was a fan. I was been a fan of KG basketball. Uh, he said and when that. When you come to, when you get to the league, I'm like, bro. Look, I was like, look, hey, man. Hey, bro, I thought he was on. I thought he was. Oh. I thought he was messing with him. I said, nah, I ain't going. We did no, I'm a fan of yours. Like I'm like, nah, nah. I'm gonna get rid of Hooper against you. I don't want to like you, right? Watch out. We did, have court, we, man. we did Dr. J like that, though. When we first played again, we got to the gym early just to see him walk in. Ooh, I bet. Man, yeah, I was I like that with Mike and Shaq, though. I can't, you know. Yeah, I yeah. first seen Mike. I started drooling, and I was yeah, like, my, my girl was like, hey. I was yeah. like, hey, that's Jordan, girl. Right. That's, hey, that's Jordan. You be quiet when you walk right. That's- <laughs> and, and, and see, back then, well, I, I didn't ever see uh, my first NBA game was the first NBA game I saw. Mm. I played in, so we didn't have the YouTube and the direct yeah. TV to get oh, everything. Wow. That's uh, what's up. Damn, time dope. Warm, you know. So, mm. so uh, we we you see Dr. J because all the games came on replay at like uh, Friday night, at eleven right. o'clock. That's on the NBA o'clock. game. Right. You yeah. seen? Yeah. Every play on CBS. So to see Dr. Yeah. J walk in, man. We, we Ooh. Were, <laughs> and and he probably second team. Right, right. <laughs> the coolest <laughs> guy ever. So he need walk. He floating. He He need walk. He floating. Yeah, for and we sure. just sitting there. Oh, man. That's back when they was playing the chains. Yeah. yeah. Right. With, with, right. The, uh, with the chucks on. With yep. the chucks on. Yep. <laughs> Favorite player in high school. playing chucks. Favorite player in high school that you emulated, that you that was your Ooh. idol. Well, we had a we had a guy at our, our school, uh, 
uh, named Mookie. Not Mookie Blaylock, but that's who he named out there from Dallas. And he did everything. He could score, play defense, everything. And that's how I tried to... Uh, uh, emulate my game out there until mm. I see Dr. J and you figure out you're not going to be seven feet. Right. So you, I tried to be like Moses, I mean, uh, uh, Mo Cheeks. Mm. And then uh, I seen Isaiah, I like, oh, that's where I want to play. But then, you know, the alarm clock go off and you can't play like that. <laughs> <laughs> so follow my high school buddy. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, Mookie, yeah. shout out yeah. to Mookie High School. Mookie, what about you, Earl? Oh, man, when I was growing up, my favorite player was actually, it's about the a little sentimental with my father. Oh, that's mm. dope, man. Growing up, that was that was my favorite player. Dad had buckets? Oh, man. Did he, you get buckets? Man, my father's 64, 65, still play twice a get week. Get out of here. Yeah. Really? He can still get money? Oh, man. I, it, it's, it's in our genes, man. I'm addicted. So you know what? So, so <laughs> at addicted. 60, we're going to be expecting you to get oh, some buckets. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I you still see, okay, to get buckets. okay. I still pay, but that was, you know, I just want to be a better basketball player than my father. Oh, that's dope. I, I felt, you know, if I could be better than my father, I could, I could play with anybody. That's right. right. If I could be better than him, I could play anybody. So that was that was definitely, like, my role model, who I patterned my game at the... My, man, he used to play, like, two or three leagues. Right. Yeah, and oh, people don't know it. this. When I was in the NBA, I played more in the offseason than I did during the season. Hmm. I played basketball every season. I, I was playing, That's like, because we came league. off the bench, they didn't want to let us be yeah. the man of the team. Right, right. So I ain't even <laughs> stretch. Tell when them I was in the league, like, serious. Tell them, like, yeah, they didn't, when, they didn't when let I was in the league, league. I ain't even stretch when I was in the league. Ever? I, I never need, stretched a day in my life. I didn't when I was in the league, up, I used to lay on the floor. I didn't even tie my shoes up. Yeah, I said, what am I going to get warmed up for? Oh, I'm about ball. to go sit on the bench. You can Mark never Jackson, do that. You Mark Jackson never got do mad that. at me. said, man, tie your shoes up. Said, that that was what? my attitude. What am I going to warm up for? I'm about to go sit on the bench for 20 minutes. By the time I get in the game, I ain't even loose no more. What am I going to waste my time warming <laughs> up for? I could have never done that, ever. <laughs> ever, ever. I done tore something eight, nine times. Man, George Carl used to man used to call me so many cuss words. Man, you had to hit the button, but... He say, why you don't warm up? I say, George, man, by the time National Anthem play, I'm getting in the game 20 minutes later. That's real, though. Uh, I, I said, wish, man, I, wish I, I ain't even warm. I wish I'd have got a little bit of this, man. I'm <laughs> I was like, I ain't even warm. What about you, was... Nate? Who was your favorite player uh, coming out of uh, high school? Man, guess, you know. At Rainier Beach, man, believe it or not, Jamal Crawford mm, and uh, oh, yeah. two players that I played with on my same team, these twin brothers, Logic and Roger Stewart. Mm. They were uh, they were the first dudes I ever seen j throw like really between the legs, behind the back, three sixties, oh, doing all the crazy. Oh, oh. That's where I got a lot of my crazy dunks from. Oh really? In high school, we used to have dunk contests at our uh, local community center, Rainier Community Center. Shout out everybody, two hundred six. Right, you already know. <laughs> right, get it off, Nate. Yeah, nah, for real, y'all know what it is, right. man. Town business, town <laughs> business, town business. Yeah, but <laughs> for real, man. He, uh, them them two brothers and Jamal Crawford were the the dopest players I ever seen, you know, play the game, man, and they just they just hooped. Mm. And the twins, Logic and Roger, were ranked like third in the nation next to LeBron James that year. Oh wow! wow. So That's they were dope. they were pretty okay. they were pretty dope twin brothers.